Now, later today, 18-year-old Londoner Khadija Mella will become the first jockey to race on a British racetrack wearing a hijab. Uh, she's going to make a mark on history alongside a series of trailblazing uh, Muslim sportswomen. Yeah. And our own trailblazer, uh, Khadija Mella, joins us now. Uh, good morning to you. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Well, this is fascinating. Many people are saying, why is this relevant? You tell us why this is a big moment for you and, in a way, a big moment for British racing. It is, and I'm really happy that I'm sort of representing everyone. Um, it's been a bit scary, but I'm glad that I've got in there and I'm about to race. Scary in what way? Scary because of the horse or scary <laughs> because of the hijab? Because that's an unusual thing we see uh, in a place that uh, we don't expect it. Um, it's just a new experience and I've, I've never raced before as of many of the other races but um, there are quite a few other experienced races and yeah it's not it's just a it's just a um, an amazing atmosphere like the racing um, yeah it's been it's been a bit disappointing not to see other sort of Muslim women or women of color in the industry um, but it's been nice representing everyone else and the amount of questions and attention has been great because I then I then I'm able to sort of like explain and um, sort of like talk to all the curious people and yeah. I'm happy to sort of like so, talk Khadija, to people and that's just, how I you, love doing that. Explain how you got involved in this. It's one of our patrons, Ollie Bell, he um, sort of like introduced this idea of having uh, one of the young members um, riding in, um, in the Magnolia Cup and fortunately I got selected. My mum's never been on a horse in general, my dad's <laughs> been on a horse once. Um, it's just sort of a thing that I've always loved, I just loved animals and I've loved horses and I've always wanted to become sort of a horse rider or somewhere in the horse riding industry. Wow. And how did they react when you told them, said, Mum, you know, I, I, this is, this is the, the, the path I'm going to choose? What, what was Mum and Dad's reaction? My mum has always loved my horse riding and they know that it's a hobby that I love and they've always supported me. Um, my dad also was really, like, excited for me because he likes the whole... Like, I took him to the races for the first time and he loved, like, the atmosphere and, like, the <laughs> racing and he loved, yeah, the horses going quite fast and stuff. Yeah, he got quite excited. No, it's so, like, it, I think it, the whole family now is sort of into it. It's fantastic. And, and so tomorrow's your first race at Goodwood. What time, what time do you race? It's today. <laughs> oh, it's today. Sorry. Ah, it's today. What time is the race? Yep, it's today at one. Oh, wow. One OK, go on, right. One tennis. And who, and who, which horse are you riding today? I'm riding one of Charlie Fellows' horses, a horse called Haviland. OK, and, and is it good to, is it worth placing a little bit of a wager on? I know I'm, I'm like you from a Muslim background, but for you, I might just place <laughs> a little bit of money on. It's OK. No one's going to have heard me say this. It's fine. Uh, is it worth it? Is, where, where, how good is this horse, um, do you think? Um, he's, he's, he's quite a good sprinter. Um, in terms of the rest of the other horses racing, I think he sits sort of like in the middle of the pack, maybe sort of like fourth or fifth within mm. the 12 races. Maybe in each way. Um, right. His handicap is 66. OK. You know so, what? Uh, you know what? Um, I'm going to have a, Yeah, it could go either way. I'm going to have a little wager on this horse today and I uh, will come back tomorrow and tell everyone how we got on. <laughs> um, well done. Listen, thank you so much and good luck. Great. I think it's just fantastic. It's a, a, a great moment for, for British sport so and for it you. It is, thank I you. agree. Yeah. Well done, Khadija. Nice to talk to you this morning.